Hi all and welcome to the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. We've got a fairly packed and quite varied show tonight. But first, a couple of things I need to get into. Um, our new website for the shows only is now taking shape. And you can go and check it out at thi-show.com. Now, the donations website for the TPC and myself is still there on thinkdifferent.thepeoplesclub.org. And um, I want to give a special shout out for Angela Efkin, who has been unwell recently and undergoing treatment. And I'm sure you will all join me in wishing her a speedy recovery. There are two types of people now. The people who think their government has their best interests and the people who think. There is a number of themes in tonight's show. Connect all the dots and add in the penultimate piece of tonight's show and a picture emerges. Let's see how many of you can create the picture. But first... <clears throat> Why is FedEx storing thousands of boxes of body bags at at least one of their facilities? As Biden admits, they will have 600 million vaccines to vaccinate just 300 Americans. Oh dear. <laughs> he repeated it three times. 600 million vaccines for 300 Americans. Perhaps he went to John Hopkins as well. As the UK police reaches more NKVD, like after they arrest a woman without a warrant, forced entry into her home in front of terrified children for the disgraceful crime of singing in the garden. I kid you not. As police officers in Rochester, New York, handcuffed and pepper sprayed a nine-year-old girl while responding to what a police official called a report of family trouble in an incident that has been sharply criticised by city officials. Pepper spraying a nine-year-old girl because she wouldn't put her feet in the car. This is more evidence of child thinking in an adult body. And are you telling me a number of cops cannot control a nine-year-old girl without pepper spray? My opinion, they should all be fired as incapable of performing basic duties. As Jeff Bezos of Amazon slides sideways and is replaced by Andrew Jassy, who is born in and born to, and the takeover goes on unabated, it seems. This came from one of our members, and it'd be one of the dock connectors. And he said he was pondering a bit, and, came, and this came to mind regarding all the tech censorship going on. Today's pro pagan da is tomorrow's his story lesson. With the world becoming digital, the clowns need to remove anything that is counter-narrative because it will live forever in their cloud. If they do not rewrite it today, then a copy that is counter-narrative might survive and cause cracks in the mind virus. If this sounds like 1984, it is because it is exactly that but in digital form. I couldn't agree more. And whilst our show can be seen as fairly brutal in its content, we must out and highlight as many issues as possible in a real way. Sugarcoating is for the unawakened or the barrier-laden wake awake people. So who are the barrier-laden awake people? The ones who seek saviours, mired in religious dogma, 
don't want to hear anything unless it's about politics, which is another saviour programme. Politicians and government are substitute parents for those people, unable to look after themselves and demand the government fix or help them. But there's 330 million people in this country. Why the hell can't we help and look after each other? I was made aware this week of a common law court company out of Scotland and having spoken to common law groups in the UK uh, this past week and they may be tempted into this new monetary system as advertised by CLC company, the common law court. Now the seducement is it takes your money out of the system. You don't need banks or the state questioning or blocking your money. And I agree. But a perusal into their website, and it was conveniently bypassed by the presenter, was it cost 50 British pounds or $68 per month to have this account. $68 a month or £50. And it doesn't give what the exchange rate is to your currency. And most of the current stores that operate under what is known as Beep Extra are all based in the Philippines. A bastion of fraud, that place. And personally at this point, I would give this a miss. 50 quid a month to have an online cloud-based account that if the satellite or server goes down, suddenly you have lost all of your money. And this is the equivalent to Bitcoin to me. The City of Light and the more modern day is placed in Paris, France. Why is that significant to now? Well, two things. First, you know how they love their symbolism, dates and placements. And secondly, the opening question of, are we heading for another City of Light episode? In 2024, the Olympic Games will be held in the City of Light, Paris, France. Is that a plan? Or a coincidence. Maybe the superb owl event this Sunday will reveal more. Here is another common sense question. With the country on lockdown, how is the superb owl event going ahead with spectators? Here is another warning or prediction to watch that is ahead of time. Very soon we are going to see a shift in the re- in the reported figures of COVID infections and or deaths and the figures will start to go down rapidly. Why? Because they cannot keep playing the fear game of we're all going to die whilst advocating the marvels of the vaccine. Next will also come the shame and the seducement of we will reopen everything when enough have had the vaccine, forcing people to divide and conquer more on each other. That's all it's doing. But it's funny how the ones who take the vaccine don't get abuse for doing so, yet the ones who decide for themselves do. It never happened over the flu vaccine, and with death figures globally not increasing as a pandemic would do, so why this one? The simple reason is it is a control and money harvesting exercise. Following the latest round of predictions out of the Life Force group that didn't come to fruition, 
which I personally find sad. So it's not a case of petty group rivalry as some are trying to make out. But how long does failed predictions from any group carry on before people realise their plans are just not working? How long do you wait for weight clubs and not take action ourselves? Now there has been an increase in back chatter and also the usual antagonists from the Life Force group recently. But also there has been a number of emails and private messages of Life Force members coming over to THI due to several and varying complaints of how things are not working too well over there. And there is a common theme or misconception amongst those people that I will attempt to lay to rest now is that I am, quote, heartbroken, hurt, a jilted lover or angry over the split between myself and Kim. None of those apply to me. There was no relationship to begin with. It was a business transaction that was undertaken. Personally, I moved on four days after the split as I gave the security phone I bought for Kim's protection to Ava Cowan for free. I knew May the 8th it was all over. I honoured Kim's wishes to not go public or slander her in public as stated by email on May the 11th and then she went public with it herself with a twist to the narrative. I just carried on doing the work I was doing before I got hired by the trust and so for me not much changed on a work basis. The reality is Kim headhunted me for various skill sets and knowledge to work for her under the banner of the Trust. Which not only put a bigger target on me, but also involved me leaving my job and girlfriend at the time and uprooting from my home and travelling over 2,000 miles at a personal cost of several thousands of dollars. I then worked and supported Kim to the tune of several more thousands of dollars whilst receiving no pay for the trust for four and a half, four and a quarter years work. Only for one day, with no warning or provocation, to be fired from my position by Kim. I'll repeat that again for the hard of hearing. Only for one day, with no warning or provocation to be fired from my position by Kim. I was fired by the trustee, who then also for vindictive reasons decided to take my security clearance away and put me in greater risk than I was previously. Those are the actual facts of the matter. She decided that my replacement for that role would be Tank, and I will leave you all to judge yourself whether that was a good choice by the trustee to make. And to quote Tank, So, basically, I was fired from my job and deemed surplus to requirements. And that was the end of that. Thank you.